Hi guitar players! In this short blues guitar lesson, let me show you a cool technique that you can use to spice up your own blues licks. It's a concept I like to call the micro pull-off and it is something I became aware of when I saw Robin Ford use it live. I'll play the same E minor pentatonic lick twice, first without the micro pull-off and the second time with the micro pull-off, so you can hear the difference. Three, four, one... Mm. Three, four, one. See what I did there? I added two grace notes, two small embellishments on places where the melody or where the phrase moves a full step down. So the lick starts with the fifth fret on the highest E string played with the ring finger and then uh, the third fret on that highest E string played with the index finger. Now to perform that micro pull-off technique simply add your middle finger in between playing those two notes. So you play the fifth fret first and then instead of playing the third fret Play the 4th fret with your middle finger and then very quickly do a pull-off to the 3rd fret. You pick or pluck the string two times, just like in the first version of the lick, so the 3rd fret isn't picked in that uh, second variation. This is what I call the micro pull-off technique. It's a very small pull-off that you add to blues phrases that you know already. And I do it a second time in the lower register of the lick as well. And what is so valuable about this tiny little concept is that you can use it all over the guitar neck and not just in places where the melody moves a full step. Also, you can work it into the licks that you know already. So you don't have to learn a new lick, you just learn another way of playing the same lick. It's another way of articulating the same phrase. And to me personally, I like it the most in quieter parts of blues songs where you get more room from the other band members, you get more room to articulate more uh, what you're trying to say with your guitar. So um, I really like this concept and that's why I wanted to share it with you. download the tabs from my blog there's a link in the description thank you for watching my video uh, and maybe let me know in the comments if you like this short lesson format i hope you got some inspiration from it for your next solo or improv if so consider subscribing to my channel your support is kindly appreciated so i hope to see you again next time mm -hmm.